MA Boxing Talk here. I just want to talk uh, about a bunch of different things in this video. Some boxing, some MMA. There's um, lots going on in the world of combat sports. Lots of things to talk about, so I'll get right into it. Um, of course, yesterday, Junior Dos Santos is officially fighting Francis Ngannou. That's taking place in September. That's going to be a big, big heavyweight fight in the UFC. I'm looking forward to that. This is Ngannou's chance to really um, get himself a title shot because if he looks spectacular against JDS, he's going to be rate, right, rate right up there um, in the rankings because Dos Santos is ranked four and Ngannou's ranked five. So Ngannou would be right there, maybe one more fight and get a title shot or... Maybe if he just waits, UFC gives him one. I don't know. But, uh, and JDS, you know, he has an opportunity. A win over Ngannou would put him, would keep him right at the top, you know. So, it's a big, important fight. Um, also, yesterday, Damian Maya is officially getting a title shot against Tyron Woodley. That's going to be in July on the John Jones card. Dana White also said that George St. Pierre is going to get the winner of that fight. Um, a lot of people have mixed feelings about GSP's return. Personally, don't really want to see him come back. Um, but I'm definitely going to be interested in tuning in if and when he does. So that's pretty well it about the MMA. I'll get right into boxing. Um, of course, actually one more quick thing. Dana White came out and said that um, apparently Conor McGregor told Dana White that after Floyd Mayweather... He wants to fight Khabib Namagamadov in Russia. Um, I don't know if this is true or not, but that would be a really, I think, smart move on Connor's behalf because going over to Russia to fight Khabib, that's something that that would be a really, really, really big feather in Conor McGregor's cap. If he can go to Russia, beat Khabib in Russia, a lot of people don't think Connor can beat Khabib. Personally, I think Tony Ferguson is the tougher matchup for him. Um, and to be honest, it's a perfect time to take that fight for Connor because Khabib's been super inactive lately. Hasn't had a fight since last summer. Or, sorry, last November. Um, so it'll be a year since Khabib had, has fought, you know, if they fight in, in the, at the end of the year. So that's interesting. And, you know, personally, I would love to see Connor. Fight Khabib next after Floyd, and then if he gets past Khabib, do that trilogy with Nate Diaz. And you know, if Connor wants to retire after that, I won't hate on him, but he's got to go do that. You know, I, I would love to see win or lose, fight Khabib after, after Floyd, and then have a, a trilogy with Nate Diaz if he can get past Khabib. So that would be really cool. Um, Another thing that's interesting is um, there's a lot of rumors going around that uh, Tank Davis, Javonta Tank Davis, is probably going to fight Orlando Salido on the McGregor Mayweather undercard. Javonta Davis will definitely be on the McGregor Mayweather undercard because um, that's Floyd's young, you know, young fighter coming up. He's a young champion, youngest champion in boxing. Super exciting fighter. Um, but what's interesting, though, is the reason, uh, it's pretty obvious in my opinion, the reason Davis wants to fight Salido is not because Salido is this super established, high, high level guy. I mean, he's, he's a good fighter. He's been around. Um, the reason is because Salido has a win over Lomachenko. Now, a lot of people want to see Davis versus Lomachenko. That's a fight to make. That's an interesting fight. But Floyd's not going not gonna to risk that. There's no way. But if they can get a fight with Salido and Tank Davis can beat Salido, then Mayweather and Davis can go around saying, why do I have to fight Lomachenko? I beat Salido and Salido beat Lomachenko. So what's the point? You know, I could already see it now. But um, regardless, Tank Davis versus uh, Orlando Salido on the Mayweather-McGregor undercard will be interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing... Davis on that card, you know, because he's an exciting fighter. He's got a lot of knockout power. He's young. It's just too bad he's with Mayweather Promotions. 
Um, cause that could really stunt his growth in his career, you know, he, but it is what it is. Um, also I want to talk quickly about Joshua Klitschko, the rematch, you know, nothing's official. Klitschko still hasn't really made up his mind what's going on. According to Eddie Hearn, it could be you know, within a week or two, they're going to find out what Klitschko wants to do. Uh, at this point, I want to see the rematch, you know. Um, so hopefully that happens this year, hopefully in November, you know, somewhere around then. Um, and I believe Klitschko, Joshua, uh, they have to do the rematch before October, or December 1st or something like that. I'm pretty sure that's what I heard, but uh, and also you know, uh, Canelo Alvarez versus Gennady Golovkin. They just did a, their press tour. They went to, I think, Vegas and New York, uh, or LA and New York. Um, it's a big fight. It's a biggest fight in boxing. Period. You know, um, the pay per views are going to do really good. I think. Personally, I think it does 2 million pay-per-view buys, uh, Canelo, Triple G. I think it actually has a chance to to beat um, to beat maybe Floyd versus Oscar De La Hoya. Maybe not, but I think it does too. I think it flirts with 2 million pay-per-view buys, which would be really incredible, especially after the Mayweather-Pacquiao, you know, that would be saying a lot. But this is a fight that, you know, fight fans are just salivating at the mouth for because I mean the style matchup is a fight fan's dream. Neither guy knows how to how to really take a step back. Um, both guys have a lot of power. Both guys are very skilled fighters. They're pretty well the same size. Triple G's a little bigger, but uh, relatively speaking, they're about the same size and build. Um, Canelo's a little thicker, but um, very very great matchup. I cannot wait. Um, that's going down September 16th. So, you know, it, that's going to, it's going to be interesting because that's going to really creep up on me and other fight fans, I believe, because we're all going to be so focused on Floyd versus Connor. And then boom, after that fight, we only have three weeks to wait for triple G versus Canelo. So that's going to creep up on us. I cannot wait for that fight. Um, but that's pretty well it. I just wanted to uh, put out a video, a fight talk video, you know, going over some uh, some topics, some hot topics in the world of combat sports. But that's it for this one. If you like the video, definitely subscribe. Check out my Twitter account as well, at uh, MMA Boxing Talk 1. Peace.